main research focus is preclinical translational drug discovery for what we call a neglected tropical diseases. When I had started the work, I was in a purely academic environment. And I think the business approach to defining what your target product profile should look like really made us think hard. And that's something I'm not, I wasn't used to up to about three or four years ago. Actually knowing in advance what your product should look like. Academics aren't very good at doing that. They're getting better. But uh, so through the UCSF environment and particularly through the CTSI environment, we were able to sharpen our folks in terms of really thinking hard commercially about developing a product. The current diagnosis of many of these tropical disease infections is very basic. It depends on parasitology. In the case of the worm diseases, we actually have to take fecal or urine samples to diagnose diseases. That has its issues. It can tell you the presence of disease, but it can't really accurately quantify the, what we call the burden or the intensity of disease. And it's important to understand quantitatively the, the levels of, of burdens of infections because that defines then what your treatment is going to be. And there are, very, there are quite strict criteria in terms of who gets treated and who doesn't based on the availability of the single drug that we have. So it's not a particularly sensitive test, uh, taking stool smears of, um, uh, for egg counting and identification. One would rather have um, a serodiagnostic test where you take a um, small drop of urine or a small drop of uh, blood and uh, simply ascertain quantitatively and sensitively whether one is infected and if so, how much is the worm burden and then treat accordingly. We were specifically interested in developing a, a, a kit, an easy to use point of care kit for about a dollar, a dollar fifty. You can't get any more expensive than that because it won't be acceptable in those areas in terms of expense. And uh, with the help of the Catalyst Award, we were able to develop those uh, monoclonal antibodies and we're currently developing the test into the next phase.